Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker! Woo! Bet you weren't expecting an update so quickly, were ya? Were ya? Were ya? Were ya? Oh, okay, I guess you were. Let's go and get started, shall we? Into the, uh, basement. Maybe he's playing some Call of Duty, maybe we can play co-op with each other. Ooh. Speak up! <laughs> okay. Silentus, is that you? If I recall correctly, today, you are the same age as the legendary hero. Oh, is that what the significance of my birthday is? How coinky dinky When did you get so old? I could... No, I'm being polite. I could say I, I was going to ask, when did you? But, you know, I'm trying to be polite here. You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. Uh-huh, says the guy with the beer gut in front of me. You have come at a perfect moment. I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Run as fast as you can, press A, and you will perform a rolling attack. If you think you understand, then try to roll into the wall. Go on, young one! Uh, sure. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, yeah! Oops. Such a rocket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves again, you dratted hooligan! Oops. Oh, my brother upstairs. He's very high strung. His is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He is quite wise, but with that big head of his, he is hardly, how shall I say, accommodating. On top of that, he is so very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. Oh, you guys are so mean to each other. But enough of that, Salinus. I sense your natural talent that beats in your veins. Senpai, teach me the ways of swordsmanship. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, basically, if you talk to this guy, he's going to teach you how to do, uh, use the sword. Now, I would say, yeah, let's go and do that, but that really serves us no purpose right now. Do not begrudge the effort required to build strength. I'm not. I'm just like... Excuses are excuses. Don't make them. Oh, you know what? We'll be back later, so don't worry. Did I just say that out loud? Never mind. Forget I just said that. Ay, 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 ay. I gotta learn to think before I speak here. I'm gonna ruin it for y'all. Ruin it, I tell ya. Ruin it. Hey, there's a boat out there. Wow. Cool. So, how are you doing, dude? I didn't even talk to... Did you just snot on me? Seriously? Um, your grandma was calling for you to <laughs> And so was my mom. Get away from me, please. You must. Oh, <laughs> yuck! Ew, 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 ew! <laughs> he just snotted? He just wiped his. Slimy! Whoa, gross! Somebody give me the hand sanitizer, that's just nasty. I'm guessing you're that snot-nosed boy's mom. He's a lovely child, but oh, he just needs a tissue. Today's your birthday, isn't it, Sonius? Well, how nice for you. I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell you the truth, I could congratulate myself, too. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't it a delightful addition to the place? It does look nice. Got the flowers in the background, too. I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I'm pretty sure any child likes pets. But, you know, since you only have boys, I can understand why you would just say boys. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. Hmm, what animal indeed. So, we have a little side quest we can do. You don't have to do this at all, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Because she's already promising us a little reward. I dare say, let's go do it. So remember when that guy was talking about sneaking up on a pig and his wife was kneeing it? Yeah, that, this guy's actually the husband. I think he's over here. Oh, you can't see him. Oh, that night can. Yeah. He wanted to get this for his wife, so. If you do this, this is actually relatively easy. Like I said, you just sneak up on the pig. Uh, sneak up on the pig. Don't scare the bejesus out of it. There you go. Pick, press A to pick it up. Make sure you don't accidentally press A to throw the pig again, because otherwise you'll have to go chase after the little oinker. The little piece of bacon, I'm telling you, man. 
I wonder if this is called... I wonder if they're gonna name this pig Crispy Bacon. Kinda like that pig off of Banjo-Tooie. Hmm. Oh, why did you bring this little piglet all the way just for me? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much! I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, uh, hold out your hand. This is a reward for you. Oh, really? Look what I got. I'm holding up and showing to the whole world. I got 20 rubies. Nice. That is a pleasant surprise. Oh, why, uh, this little doll is as cute as a button. You know, it's so cute I wouldn't mind even another one. If you find any more of them. Yeah, that's our hint. Red text for the win. That means we gotta go... F if you want to, you can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this because, you know, why not? I'll probably cut some of this out, though. See? Or at least cut some of the trip out. But yeah, you, this pig here, actually, I don't think it's normally over here. Usually it's, like, behind this house, actually. Or nearby where she's at, just outside. But, uh, yeah. Let me get you. And I'll meet you guys on top of the hill. Oh, and there we go. Here's your second piglet. Oh, why did you bring me another one? Oh, you are worried this little guy would get lonely just hanging out inside the fence all by himself. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I seriously need to just, like, stop doing that, because that is so annoying. I'm probably I'm probably annoying Fiery Red Hero 8 every time I do that. I shouldn't do that to y'all, and her, for that matter. That's just, oh, man. Anyway, sorry. Oh, here's a little something for you. I got something so good, I'm gonna hold up and show the whole world. I got 20 rubies. Yeah! Nice! Oh, if you find any little more pigglies, you know where to find them. You know where to bring them, I should say. From Errol's Outpost, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and head toward this guy's house, the one that was cutting the grass over here. Mind you, not cutting the cheese. <laughs> Yeah, that was a fake fart, in case y'all were wondering. There we are, another piggy. Oh, oh, look at this one. You sure do know how to find the cutest little piggies in the whole great sea. Hey, Oinka, oink, oink. Oh, now things will be ever so much more lively in the pen. It'll be like a big pig jamboree in there. Thankfully not jambalaya, mind you. I'll get, I have a feeling you got some ideas on your mind. Oh, no, not me, but thank you so much. Oh, that's right. I can't let you leave without giving you a little present. Happy birthday, Silas. Yay! I got something so good, I'm going to hold it up and show the whole world. It's 20 more rupees. Yay! I guess I better think up some names for these little oinky wankies, huh? Sure do. But while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and officially go see Grandma, because Grandma is going to tan my hide if I don't see her. Get? No. No, no, no! Yes, snotty boy. You need to just go blow that nose or just suck that snot up. Seriously. Ugh. That is the nastiest thing I could ever see somebody do, is let the nose run right out in public. I always hated whenever my nose did that, and I'm like, oh, come on, it's so embarrassing, you know? It's like farting in public and having it echo in the seat you're sitting in. I've been waiting for you, Silent Ass. Hi. Silent Ass. Try these sound. Uh, why? Oh, time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Look what I've got. I've got some hero's clothes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Link's face. He's like, oh, I don't know if I really want to wear these. They might be a little warm for this weather. That Florida humid weather, man. Oh, man. Oh, don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them home. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. Okay, so what does that have to do with me, man? You only have to wear them once, now quit your nitpicking. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. So they were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. Ooh, cool, I guess it's not all bad. <laughs> oh, excuse me, good lord. But, thankfully, we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Must be the ways of Dress Rosa. 
Nowadays, I suppose Orc is the only one on the island who knows anything about swordplay. Red text for the win. Oh yes, and hanging the family shield on the wall as a decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from our foes of the days. <laughs> oh man, he can't even stretch his arms comfortably. Oh, does this all make sense to you? N yeah, he just nods. Just to get her to stop lecturing. Isn't it nice? Oh, they sit you perfectly perfect fit. Perfectly perfect. Yes, lovely. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over to your birthday party. So I'd better get ready. Get st or better start getting ready, I should say. Boy, my memory's getting messy with me right now. Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for tonight. Mmm-mmm! Yummy! Bring on that soup, man. I just know you're looking forward to it. I'm already salivating at the mouth thinking about it. Now go get your sister, Ariel. Yeah, buddy, let's go do that, man. I want some soup. Soup, 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 okay. Whoa. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll do that. Let's 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 take the ladder like a normal person would. Actually, you know what? No, define normal. <laughs> Any person could just jump down probably, but I don't know if I would if I was Link's age, which whatever the age that wife ends up being, I don't think I'd be wanting to try and jump down from a two story building. I'd be wanting to take the ladder or the stairs, you know. Alright, so now that we've got these green clothes on, which actually looks really cool, but I imagine, like they were saying in the game description, they're really itchy and probably hot. Man, I, don't, I, I can't even imagine wanting to wear these. Like, seriously, right now I'm in my frickin' boxers and I'm in a t-shirt because of how hot it is right now. You know, that month of June, man. Especially in Florida. Ugh, the humidity is just at an all-time high every day. And it's only, you know, the worst part is, y'all, it's only get, going to get hotter. Especially as we progress to July and August. Ugh. Thankfully, we got a lot of liquid libation here, but seriously, it doesn't stop the fact that it's still going to be hot here. Ugh. Alright, stop complaining, dude. So, we're going to climb up this ladder here, and, uh, whoa. There's a lot of seagulls here. Dude! What is with seagulls? What are we feeding these things? Look at them. They're just, like... They're half arrow size. That's so bizarre to me. Oi, big brother! Did Grandma make the outfit for you? Yeah, I gotta wear it too. Oh, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I know. Don't rub it in, seriously. I guess they're pretty neat, though. Eh, I guess. I don't know. I just, I'm indifferent to them. So anyway, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? What are you doing? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Ooh. Happy birthday! Yay! Look what I got. I'm going to show the whole world. It's a telescope! This is your sister's most precious belonging. I'm going to indeed treasure it dearly. Okay, so whenever we get an item, this is actually an item we can wear. The hero's clothes didn't count as an item, but... I mean, they are, they're, they're an article of clothing, but you all will understand what I mean when we start getting into doing, collecting stuff like this. So yeah, you got your XYZ buttons. I think, um... I'm trying to remember... I don't remember what the buttons are on, like, if you're doing this on a different game system, but I'm sure they've altered the text for it. So, well, do you like it? I don't know. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. Now, I'm just letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hehe. <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over to our house from here. Why, so I can sneak up and see what Grandma's making? Maybe she's, like, wrapping up another present for me. Alright, so, we gotta do this, unfortunately, whether you want to or not. What? 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 I thought I pushed up. Whoa, this button sticks. I gotta keep an eye on that. Alright, let's check it out. Uh, uh. Big brother! Zoom in, will ya? Alright, I'm doing it, jeez. Hey, what's that at the red post box? Whoa, what is that? I thought the seagulls were big, but man, this guy's ridiculously huge. The postman looks kinda weird, doesn't he? Uh... Ah! Look up in the sky! What? What the fuck? What is with all the birds in this game? They're huge! Jeez! Okay, so he's... That bird's carrying some- oh, okay, so we got a pirate ship. Looks like Shank's ship, with the way the little 
mast or the front end is looking. Oh great, so launch cannonballs. Are they gonna like hit her sit hit her little peaceful town? And who is even the bad guy here for that matter? I mean there's they look like pirates chasing after this thing. Mmm, that tasted delicious. Mmm, sock it to me. Oh. Talk about being dropped on your head before you were awake. That didn't make any sense. I don't know why I thought that would make any logical sense, but whatever. Oh, oh, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. Yeah, she will, definitely. But it's dangerous to go alone. You should go take something with you to defend yourself with. <sighs> do I have... Well, I guess I might as well. But we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Thank you all for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please don't watch Tales Flap. And in the next part, we're going to go save somebody. Who is it? And hopefully they don't, like, chop her head off because, you know, who knows? Strangers that we save sometimes tend to be bad. I'm talking too much. Link's fidgeting around because of how much talking I'm doing. Bye, guys.